Yo, what's going on with the Patreon? It's your boy, Professor YND in this mug, you know what I'm saying? I uh, hope everybody doing good. Today we about to be talking more about discipline things and things outside of women, okay? I'm about to try to get into this stuff more and uh, make sure y'all ask questions. You gotta comment and ask questions or DM me questions on here, email me questions, put questions in our little group community thing. Y'all gotta do this because I got a lot of knowledge up here and a lot of stuff that I do on the daily that I've seen now that it's just so normal for me to do or stuff that I've just been knowing for years. And I'm realizing that this is um, very valuable advice for a lot of you guys, okay? The first type of investment, guys, that you wanna do is investing in yourself, okay? You have to invest in yourself. What does that look like? That means that not only do you have to put money into yourself to build yourself up, See, you ain't gonna never be nothing in this world, guys, if you're not bringing value to the world. I'm sorry. I don't know how else to tell you, but you, the, the, you have to add value to the world. You have to bring value to other people, to other men, right? Just like I say with women, you have to have, you have to recognize the value within yourself, up your game, and get on top of doing shit that's actually gonna be beneficial to women that you're dealing with. That's gonna bring the value, right? And the same way I say that, you have to do the same thing on the other side when it comes to the business world and if you're trying to make money. You have to invest in yourself. You have to hone your skills. You have to develop and build multiple types of skills and be able to bring that to the marketplace so that you can demand a certain you know, caliber of salary, a certain uh, money that you can make. Right. And therefore, you will always be able to support yourself and be a damn man standing on your own two feet. You got you gonna have your own crib. You're going to have your own uh, cars. You're going to have money in the bank just in case you lost your job for rent. Um, you'll have. So like right now for me, I got over. Uh, let me see. I got almost a year saved right now. So if I lost my day job today or even if I didn't lose my day job, but let's say something in the market changed or whatever. I got, I think, 11 months or 10 months right now that I never touch worth of paying all my bills. You see what I'm saying? So for the next year, if I decided not to work or I wanted to pursue you know, content heavier or whatever I wanted to do, at any moment, I could actually tap into that. Now, I wouldn't do that because I'm trying to be smart. But what I'm saying is I can do that. Then you also want to have money set aside for a rainy day. You know what I'm saying? You also want to work on building your credit. You see what I'm saying? All of these things are investing in yourself so that you can be as self-sufficient as possible within this system, right? And then down the line, you will be protected without needing the help of bailouts from loans, without needing your mama help, your friends help. Uh, you ain't gonna be blaming other people. When you invest in yourself, that's the be you're gonna get the best return on investment then because it's all in you and it's for you. You see what I'm saying? So let's get into this a little bit more detail, but you have to bring value to the marketplace. You have to bring value to the world. And that's the only way you're gonna be able to stand 10 toes down as a man. Nobody's, women, other men, your grandma ain't nobody gonna take care of your ass up until the day you die okay they're gonna hit you with the same thing i tell the bitches you ain't gotta go home but you gotta get the hell out of here bitch you gotta go same thing for your ass you're gonna be a beggar in life you're gonna be living paycheck to paycheck house to house struggling always asking for somebody for help blaming everybody else counting on the government and all of this shit to help you you cannot do that so let's get into some of the things when it comes to investing in yourself so first thing you want to do guys so that you can actually go out here and get a job where you can take care of yourself and have consistency okay because you can go get a job anywhere you can go work at mcdonald's you can go work flipping burgers you can go work in a you know random retail store or you know customer service there's different little levels of jobs you can do and you know if opportunities come up you might might look up and I know this guys because y'all know I did recruiting and uh, sales and you know manufacturing industry when you doing jobs like this a lot of times I will have people that would get like production operator jobs or machinist type of jobs and um, you know different stuff and they might get lucky and start making an extra five dollars six dollars per hour than they normally do right but what happens is when that job has turnover or things go left you don't actually have the skill set to consistently demand that money. So then you're going to go back to flipping the burgers or the low paying jobs again. You see what I'm saying? So to get consistency, you have to invest in yourself. So the first thing, excuse me, you're going to need a skill, a trade or an education. OK, now a skill can just be as simple as some certification. So like, for example, cybersecurity is booming right now. 
if you go and do some courses, it's going to cost money, but it's investing in yourself. It's better for you to spend that money on that because you're going to get a real return on your investment and be set for your life, right? Or it can start the journey of making sure you set for life compared to investing that in some stank tuna fish off the stick, pussy bitch. And this girl gonna fucking flake on your ass anyway. See, y'all, if you done counted up all the dates you've been on, the money you spent on these dating apps, the money you spent on sh on shoes and, and clothes and renting cars or whatever you done did to try to impress some bitches or to get clout or some, you know what I'm saying, some bullshit. If you would have took that fucking money or even your, your little fat, floppy, flop ass over there spending all that damn money on all that food for you to shit it out. Okay, you don't know how to control your eating or, you know what I'm saying, certain stuff and, and budget like that. If you would have took that money and put it into this, you could have already been set. But instead, you still doing the broke boy lifestyle and then trying to flex because you're worried about what other people think. You got to stop caring about that. You got to get a skill, an education or a trade. If you got some tra uh, skills or some certifications, right, for example, in cybersecurity right now, there's jobs that you can get you can, and you invest in yourself. That might be a six month course. Okay. You do that shit for six months, you can get out and be making anywhere, you know, $50,000, 45 uh, to, you know, 70, 80,000, uh, depending on what part of the country that you're in. If it's Midwest, if it's the South, if it's the, if it's the East, if it's the West, it really depends. But you can be making some money to uh, uh, maintain yourself. You see what I'm saying? You could already be doing that. There's courses out here when it comes to programming and coding and engineering related things. Maybe you don't, maybe you don't have money for a four year degree. Maybe you, maybe you did goof off and, um, you know, made mistakes when you was in school and you didn't get the best grades, so you didn't get the greatest scholarships. Okay, well, guess what? There's still uh, courses out here. You can look them up your damn self. If you want to help yourself, you will. Ain't nobody spoon fed me a motherfucking thing or spoon fed bitch. I'm stupid. Spoon fed me nothing. Okay, I came from. Listen, and I ain't trying to put my mama business out there, but this is how me and my mama was struggling. My mom was making, you know, 20 grand, sometimes less than that, you know what I'm saying, or so per year, and we scratching and surviving to, to, to get back. And my mom, she made sure I was always good, but this is stuff I seen later, you know, seeing, you know, different returns and income, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just keeping it real, okay? I don't come from a whole bunch of money. My dad, he, I remember him, he was in school. Um, let me let me give y'all something about my dad real quick. My, my father, and I love my father to death, hardworking man, honest man. Uh, but he was a very smart guy. He graduated second in his class. Very, very just naturally intelligent. And he didn't have the right people around him to coach him on what he could have really done with that intelligence. So for a lot of times, he just had, he did have good jobs. He was a hard worker, consistent, reliable. But then later in his life, I do remember him going to school to be a nurse and then his money and stuff started going up. But I say all this to say, guys, I ain't come from a whole bunch of money. I came from two hard working Parents, a mom that was struggling, my dad that got it how he had to with just being the fucking man. So I say this to say, if you want to help yourself, all the knowledge that I have, my dad didn't sit me down and teach me all this game and shit. Nigga, I found this motherfucking shit and I put myself in experiences and I took chances outside of what I knew. I would do things uh, outside of what my mom was familiar with, outside of what my family was familiar with because I knew um, that I wanted to have my own life experience, invest in myself, try to make good choices and better choices. Now, they gave me the tools to have a mind like that. But what I'm trying to get you to see is ain't nobody do nothing for me. You got to do shit for yourself. Look it up. There's courses out here that you can do for six months to a year and come out the gate and they will help you get a job. And it don't got to be a programming. You can get a skill. I mean, I'm sorry, you can get a trade. There's welding that you can do. Okay, at one point I was going to be a welder. You could do... Um, there's electrician, right? You can do carpentry. You know what I'm talking about? You could just like Jesus, okay? Jesus was the son of God, and his ass was walking around. He wasn't talking about, man, I ain't supposed to work, man. It's in the Bible, goddammit. If you don't work, you don't eat. All you niggas want girls. All you niggas want families, but you ain't even invested in yourself. You see what I'm saying? You can't even take care of your motherfucking self, let alone lead a bitch anywhere, all right? So... Even Jesus, when he was here, was a carpenter. He knew he had a bigger purpose and a mission, and yet still, he still was here showing y'all as an example that you gotta put that motherfucking work in, and you can't just be like, well, my life purpose is I'm dying on the cross, so I guess I'm just sit around and wait for that. Hell nah, Jesus was out there, bitch, you gotta get it how you live it. You know what I'm talking about? So he was out there showing you niggas how to do that, okay? Now, you need to get a skill, education, it can be a four-year degree, whatever. That's going to be something that can stick with you forever, right? Like my communications background, my recruiting background, you see what I'm saying? That's going to always stick with me. So even if this don't work, if, if whatever, with any company, I can keep going anywhere for the rest of my life and making sure I got something that's going to be consistent. You see what I'm saying? 
All right. The next thing when it comes to investing in yourself, right, is health and body. Okay, I ain't putting no scripture on the screen today, but I don't put it up in my discipline videos. Y'all know that it's even in the Bible. And I only use that as a support for niggas that, you know, really value that. But I don't need that book to tell me what life is telling me. Okay, that's all that book is writing about. God made this world. So you can see God and, and understand God that the maker of you through the life that he made. And you can clearly see what's having money, what's having girls, what's having success, all of this stuff. If you feel like shit the whole time you're doing it, you give yourself diseases and ailments and it kill you. You see what I'm saying? You don't want to live like that. It even tells you in the scripture, it says, I think it's in Ecclesiasticus, which is a King James Version uh, apocryphal book. And it says, and it says that health and a good estate of body is above all gold, meaning having good health is better than riches, right? A man might have a whole bunch of riches and fame and success, but he's sick, right? But if some other dude, he might have less, but he's healthy. He work out, he take care of himself, he fit, he feel good, he got a positive mindset. A lot of these things kind of go hand in hand. Working out, you release endorphins, dopamine, it makes you feel more positive, you feel like you accomplished something. The byproduct is you build muscle, you look better, and then over time as you're looking better, it might make you more attractive you know, to women, and then from there, you live longer. Make sure you're doing it for you and for health reasons and let the byproduct be women. I wanna change our minds to stop living and doing shit for women. Like You shouldn't even be getting no skill or education so you can have a family nigga you don't know what you're gonna have that's part of life you don't know if you're gonna end up getting a family one day or if you're not you don't you don't know what the fuck gonna happen but what you do know is today you need to take care of your damn self so you're not a beggar begging somebody to stay with them and you that nigga that's bumming and living off everybody you don't want that reputation you don't want a life like that they gonna people's gonna be demand like when you live in somebody's house bro when you live in somebody's house people are going to make you work harder for them because you in they shit. Now, if it's your mom or something, then it'd it be different. But I'm talking about you living with friends, you living with an uncle or something. Man, nigga, you better get in there and clean some motherfucking dishes. You know, you leave one little, you know, little frosted flake out. Bitch, who the fuck told you to eat the frosted flake? You know what I'm saying? They might not talk to you like that, but they're going to be on your ass. Okay? You got to understand that. You got to understand that. Now, the next thing I would say when it comes to investing in yourself, so you get the skill, the certification, the trade or education. You can take this to any job consistently. It sticks with you. It's going to be real knowledge and proof of something that you understand and that you are a... Um, like you know you, that you certified in that you have real credentials in and you can always keep working somewhere and make sure you go into a field that is something that can always stick you know what i'm saying it's something that can always stick right so you it'll always be in demand is what i'm saying um and then making sure you take care of your health and body so that's making sure you get appropriate amount of sleep making sure you got like at least like a three-day workout plan where you do you know splits you can do push pull legs um, you know, something like this, a three day split routine, making sure you do cardio, you walk on the incline, you run, you jog, just little stuff like that. You know, hit exercises, even if it's just 15 minutes or so like that, that can go a long way compared to you doing nothing. Right. So you want to do strength training, right? That's lifting weights that can be body exercises and then some form of cardio. Now with your diet, you don't want to eat a whole bunch of processed food. Okay. You want to, and if you did go out to eat, go to places where they really got to cook this shit. You know, I remember me and my cousin, we had a rule at one point. It was like, yo, we're not going to go out and eat uh, anywhere together unless it's a place that we got to sit in and eat. So for example, if I want to eat a burger and I don't feel like cooking it in my house, I got a grill and shit like this. If I, if I don't want to cook it and make it in my house or make it at, at the crib, then the only time I can go out is if I'm going to go to a place where they're going to take their ass back there with a real beef actually cut that shit up and I'm going to eat that. You see what I'm saying? Meaning if I don't have the patience to wait for, you know, 25, 30 minutes, whatever, while they cook the real food back there, then I ain't that damn hungry to eat it and I can find something else in the house to make. You see what I'm saying? That's how you, you can do things like that to get yourself off of processed food. But you want to stay away from eating all the junk, all the bullshit. Uh, do what you got to do, but you want to eat more vegetables, fruits, salads drink a whole bunch of water let go of the pop and the pepsi you want to take care of yourself y'all motherfuckers be walking around with headaches and ailments and shit all the time and you think that's normal and that's happening because the hormones they, they put in death in the food that shit is killing you it's fast food for a reason they cut corners to make it it's not of god it's of the devil and beyond just saying it's of the devil it's of humans everything that humans do is always gonna have human error to it it's never gonna hit the same as if you had a grass-fed organic you know, beef, right, from a cow, right, compared to, or, 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 
organic vegetables compared to the tainted hormone GMO bullshit. Those things are linked highly to causing cancers, diseases, and it's going to fuck you up. Now, let me get to the next thing. Now, the next thing you want to do is develop and improve your soft skills. So that's different. So like a hardcore skill would be like engineering, right? But I've met engineers and I've recruited engineers just because a guy is an engineer does not necessarily mean he would be a good engineer. So what do I mean by that? He might have went to school. He might understand mechanical engineering. He might know how to design. He might use AutoCAD, whatever the case. However, his soft skills are off. This is communication. This is articulation. This is knowing how to convey messages in emails, how to, uh, you know, time management, right? Uh, compassion understanding, leadership, assertiveness, but at the same time being empathetic, but at the same time having a balance, social skills, right? Social IQ, all of these different things are soft skills, right? So you want to invest in yourself when it comes to that. Now you can do this in several ways. For me, when I was in high school and middle school, and I was, um, I was always in like advanced classes and AP classes and college courses, shit like that early on. Like I took, I ain't saying I'm a genius whatsoever, but I took calculus and I got to be in it, but I, I did all that shit, right? So that's how I was in high school. One of them smart Professor Y and D nerd ass niggas, right? And so for me, um, I remember I would take classes that I knew did not necessarily align like specifically with a career path I wanted. But even at 16, guys, I was smart enough to understand that, hey, man, I need to invest in myself. Then I understood that. Right. And so because of that. I would invest in myself when it came to developing soft skills. So I learned money management 17 years old, 16 years old because of uh, high school classes that I chose to take. They wasn't required or not. Uh, I mean, required at all. And I would take them and it would barely be anybody in that room. Why? Because most people didn't sign up for it. But I knew that I would get hands on teaching because of that. It was only 10 of us in the room. I'm learning about money management, finances, budgeting. I'm learning about those things early. I took communication classes before I even went to college to do actual communications. I was taking public speaking classes. Why? Because I know with some of my mental diagnosis and things that is fucking wrong with me, that I'm a little weird when it comes to socializing. That's probably why I got so involved in understanding game and learning these things because it was something that was more difficult for me and it did not come naturally, right? So I became pretty obsessed with this type of stuff, but I was trying to get myself out of it. I didn't complain, woe is me. I don't have charisma, but like him, he fucking all the bitches, man. I used to see niggas like that and I said, man, what are they doing? You know what I'm saying? I would talk to them and ask them. Of course, they don't know how to tell you how they do shit. But I, I was in my mind, I'm like, women ain't going to help me do it. My parents can't help me do it. I got to figure out how to do this shit. I started taking public speaking classes. When I was uh, 15, I was taking those classes. I was do taking classes to learn how to articulate myself better, to be better with my words. I was, I was participating younger to it in spelling bees and vocabulary type of things to expand my knowledge. You see what I'm saying? Um, you can also buy books. Right. You can buy books, guys. There's books out here that will teach you simply how to be somebody's friend, how to connect with people. OK, I know my boy uh, Von Swago, my, my brother Von, that's twin of them. You know what I'm saying? He uh, Von, that's something he big on. Right. Me, Von and uh, Praise. I don't know if y'all y'all know, know Praise. Nigga, the, nigga, he the risk guy. Nigga, pra Praise, Von and me. We all got like, um, you know, we all cool and we be talking. And that nigga Vaughn, he always, what I like about all of us is one, we got a real positive mindset. But what I like about Vaughn is Vaughn is always sending some powerful ass quotes. Why? Because the nigga's developing his soft skills. He's trying to figure out how to communicate better, how to actually be genuine and be him, his full self even more, how to connect with other people, how to make people feel appreciated, right? These are soft skills, time management, discipline, structure in your day, how to, how to, you see, because motherfuckers ask me all the time, why indeed? How are you able to do your singing? your songwriting, um, uh, working with other people, you're able to make videos, record videos, deal with girls, and go to your day job, and hit the gym. Nigga, that's like eight, nine things right there. You want to know how? Time management, motherfucker. Every day, I got a schedule. Like, this video ain't being recorded by accident. I'm on a fucking time schedule, and I know when this video need to be done, the next video, the next day, and then I'm editing this, and then I'm doing this. I got to go here. I got to go here. I got to go. Then I got a date. I got dates tonight, okay? I got a, a girl coming over tomorrow, but this all time windows, time slots. My priority in my mind is not pussy. That's why if a girl flake on me, I don't even, for one, I don't give a fuck. You know, why? Because I'm so busy. I got purpose in my life. I got structure. I got things that I do that sometimes I don't even want to do, right? That's part of being a fucking man, okay? Now, you have to learn these things. So you can take classes if you're in high school, if they're free to do. In college, you can take some. Um, um, you can do 
uh, online courses, you can read books, audio books, you can buy books, you can watch more self-improvement, stuff like this. And this is the last thing I'm gonna leave you with, and then I'm gonna end this video. Um, let me put it like this, guys. So for example, I wanna do music and, and, and music, music artistry, right? I wanna be a music artist. Now right now, I've been songwriting in the industry. I don't put out stuff under my name as well, but it ain't, obviously that don't get as big as when you, you know, you don't get, like basically the stuff I wrote for other people done got, probably accumulated millions of streams, right? Uh, but when it come to, and, and you know, I, we had a song that I co-wrote, that shit got, you know, 600, 700,000, 800,000, or I'm almost a million streams, something like that, just one song, let alone the other ones I've been a part of, right, all together. So I say this to say that I wanna be a music artist, right? Now, when y'all look at that on the surface, you probably say to yourself, oh, Okay, so that means he know how to sing, he know how to song write, right? Or you see a rapper, let's just use a rapper. Oh, he know how to write music, he know how to rap, he go to the studio, boom. He made it because of that. No, 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 it's way more layers to this shit, right? So right now, I'm developing a soft skill even by this being my purpose, right? Because right now, even though my overarching goal is to be a music artist, peep this, right? This is how important all of this shit is going together, right? It's all a part of the journey to get to that highest level of what you're actually trying to get to, right? So it's like... I'm learning to be on camera right now. I've been teaching myself that for the last 10 months, okay, since I've been on YouTube. I'm learning more and more how to network. That's another soft skill. I'm improving and actually actively practicing my communication by talking to you guys and stuff like this and talking to other content creators and women, right? Then I'm learning algorithms. That's going to help me. You see how that's going to transfer over to the music? And then... Um, I'm, I'm showing and, and really getting used to um, uh, showcasing personality because I'm an influencer. You see what I'm saying? And then I got humor and then I'm giving advice. And then we're giving advice. I do coaching calls one on one. Right. And when I do coaching calls, um, the coaching calls is like, uh, you know, that's one on one. So therefore, I have to be able to listen, to understand, to, to, to be assertive and confident and be direct so I don't bullshit them, but also know how to be humble and, and understand it to what they going through. You see what I'm saying? I'm also learning. Uh, uh, I'm certain my confidence even more. Um, boldness. Right. I'm learning the, the soft skill of not giving a fuck what others think and being confident even more of myself. Why? Because I'm putting myself on video and I'm being judged all the time by dumbasses with low IQs, with fucking dino squirrel brains, you got a fucking uh, uh, left testicle for a brain, you dumb fuck, and you in the comments because you slow and you can't understand what I'm saying, so you judge me or people that made videos responding to me or niggas DM me or comments and saying shit. I done had all that stuff, right? These are so soft skills, right? So by the time I do become a big artist and I'm, uh, uh, I've accumulated, right, in the process of getting there so much more than just the rapping or the singing or the songwriting, right? I'm learning relentlessness. I'm, I'm, I'm honing the skill of my discipline, my consistency, my work ethic, because I'm balancing so much. By the time you become an artist, you got, like, if you just got told to do with Lil Baby or baby or, 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 or uh, who, 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 T-Pain, you see what I'm saying? Uh, Drake, if you got thrown into their life and had to handle that, you wouldn't be able to handle it whatsoever. Even if you knew how to rap and, and write music. Why? Because they do everything so structured. It's so meticulous. It's so many years and layers of work behind the product that you see. That's why I never shit on artists because I know how this shit go. And anybody, even if you don't do music, any nigga that's really grinding out here on his own purpose and grind and really setting up his life and he got goals that he's actively going towards, you'll never shit on nobody. Even if you don't like something or whatever, you never look at it like, ah, oh, he should have did this or he should have did that. Motherfucker, you can't do it. When I see basketball players do shit, and my uncle would always tell me this, people get it twisted. You, you, you see an NBA player, oh, he should have did this or he's sorry, he's trash. Man, put that nigga on the court with anybody. He will bust your ass. The shittiest nigga on that bench that never see the fucking court in the NBA. You take that nigga to a college, he will hoop on them niggas and they'll think he LeBron. You feel what I'm saying? So don't get it twisted. All them niggas was the best at what they did in they high schools, at they colleges, in, in they middle schools, in they town, in they state at one point. So ain't Le LeBron and them ain't never sorry. That'll never come out of my mouth. I don't give a fuck who you like more than, you know, this person is a crybaby and they do it. That's just y'all talking because y'all really don't even understand the work that's behind them little simple movements that they do. Nigga, that's thousands and thousands of hours of repetition. So I say all this to say, invest in yourself, 
Make sure you're being young and disciplined, not young and distracted. Check out the Patreon. I might even throw this on YouTube just so y'all can see what's on the Patreon and you can learn moving forward why you should be on the Patreon because this is the type of shit you're not going to get on YouTube. I don't know how many views it's going to get. You know, anytime you do something that's not about pussy, you niggas don't watch it. And that's why most of y'all don't get pussy. So, <laughs> hey, anyway, because um, you do everything for it instead of building yourself up and then letting uh, women try to do things to get you. But you're not in that mindset yet. You're still a bitch. <laughs> Get out of so like, comment, subscribe if I throw this on YouTube. If not, check out the. Uh, make sure y'all ask more questions. All the Patreon YND brothers, I really appreciate y'all. Y'all the niggas that's really gonna make it out here. These bitch ass niggas that can't fucking spare five dollars. Even that's an investment in yourself. A nigga can't spare five dollars to get real gems and jewels from a motherfucker who done did. That's your age, a little older than you, or maybe even younger, but just done accumulated more experiences in, in different ventures. You won't even spend five dollars for that. But you'll drive up to an Arby's right now. Well, who the fuck eat Arby's, bitch? <laughs> Unless it's a roast beef coochie. You feel what I'm talking about? But most of the time, uh, niggas gonna go to like a McDonald's. You'll pull up to a McDonald's right now. Five, uh, five dollars. Can I get a, uh, can I get the Popeye's five dollar box? Can I get the KFC chicken box? McDonald's. Can I get this? You going up to the, all I hear when you do that is, hey, how y'all doing? Welcome to McDonald's. Well, can I take your order? You up here like, oh, um, can I get two extra large uh, heart attacks? Uh, let me get a side of diabetes with that. Uh, and for the drink, ah, oh, damn, let me see, shit. Y'all got clogged arteries in there? Yeah, let me get a large clog clogged artery. And I'm being, I'm not being funny. All of that shit is gonna do that to you. You, you, you spend your, your money on that to kill your motherfucking self, make yourself more depressed, putting these hormones in your body. You taking in all the experiences of those animals that got killed. And I heard the motherfucking meat ain't even real. If you ask my mama, she always says human meat and kids that go missing if they put in that shit. You'll put all of that bullshit in your body that's not aligned with you to kill yourself for five dollars. But you won't spend five dollars to get all of this information that can actually change your life and change your future generations and your kids' lives and put them on the right path. You know how far information go? But nah, you want to kill yourself with that burger. Y'all niggas, hey, this this is why y'all don't get bitches. And this is why no bitch should be following you niggas. Because you niggas can't even get a bitch to take care of herself. You can't even elevate a bitch life. But y'all want bitches though. That's what I'm saying. You can't even take care of your motherfucking self. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see y'all. Invest in yourself for success. Invest in you. That's the best investment. You do that shit first. Once you start making money and stuff like this, then later you can look at index funds. You can start really looking into stocks and bonds. And, and, and you see what I'm saying? And all of that.